Hey, you know, one thing we talk about quite a bit in gun circles is what will firearms be like in the future? Not meaning will we have access to them in the future, will we be able to still own them, but what will they themselves be like? What will they evolve into? Lots of speculation about that. Like, what's going to be the new technology? Well, uh, I think we don't really have to speculate. I think if we look to some of the greatest minds in our society, some of our great leaders, and by that I mean Hollywood, I think it's pretty clear what the future of firearms is, especially handguns, the ones we rely on most for personal self-defense. If you take looks into film, you will see that in the future, one handgun is repeatedly seen again and again and again as having survived the test of time. If we look in the movies of dystopian futures where everyone seems to be a supermodel, what are they carrying? Kiapa rhinos. If we look into other dystopian futures where it appears all women look like young boys, what do you see here? Two Kiapa rhinos. Once again, Kiapa rhino has made it into the future. And not just our future, but if you look into Chinese future, what are they carrying? Kiapa rhinos. When mankind finally colonizes Mars and starts mining the belt, what are these people carrying? Once again, Kiapa rhinos. And in the far future where the Earth is destroyed and space Christians have to venture forth to a new planet, what are they carrying? You got it. Space Christian standard issue, Kiapa rhinos. Even their homicidal androids carry Kiapa rhinos. And as you can see, they look pretty much unchanged in all these scenarios. They still fire from the bottom cylinder. They're still a cartridge-loaded gun. Although the cartridges do look like they're different now. They look like they are some sort of multi-load uh, energy cartridge or plasma cartridge that fires multiple rounds per cartridge. So they do advance in some ways. It looks like ammo has advanced, but the gun itself looks pretty much unchanged. And you know, it's not just people in the future that carry Kiapa rhinos. It's people in the present who have explicit knowledge of the future. What do they choose? Kiapa rhino, once again. And not just them, but also people that have access to some of the most highly advanced technologies. What do they choose? Kiapa rhinos. Now, with all that being said, I want to take the time today to say to all you old fuds out there that are stuck in your ways, still carrying those outdated polymer semi-automatic nightmares, get with the times, people. I know you like to call people who carry revolvers fuds and outdated and, you know, behind the times, but it seems like you're the ones that get left behind by history because in the future, it seems revolvers, specifically the Kiapa Rhino, are the gun of the future. Hey, this is the Yankee Marshall just reminding everyone out there that if you disagree with anything I say in any one of my videos, be it something political or tactical, I am going to give you the opportunity to come talk to me face to face instead of just having to put stuff in comment sections where someone might not even read them. You can come in one of my live chats and tell me off in person. You just have to send an email to shootingleftofcenter at gmail.com and in the subject line of that video put slap the yank and then I will get back with you and set up a time where you can come in one of the live chats and tell me off face to face.